Have a good trip home. Thank and you very much, Chair. I'll be a few hours behind you. See you then. Uh, bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Um, OK, just uh, a late uh, um, breaking news. The end-of-show price reductions are already beginning to uh, come out now. And uh, that is available on Scampton Clothing and Power Packs. Up to 50% uh, is uh, available up to 50% off Scampton uh, merchandise so please make the most of that on your way out won't you do not rush away this afternoon there's still plenty to do around the uh, site but I think we're ready to go now and it is uh, as they say a marker in the afternoon time now to welcome Red 10 well, thank you very much, George, and a very good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Squadron Leader Mike Ling, and I am Red 10. I'm the supervisor with the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, the Red Arrows! Well, you can see we saw we had eight jets just taxi down to the right-hand side, the end of the runway, ready to take off. They're just waiting for the Gazelle to land before they get airborne. Eight jets, because those who were here yesterday heard me explain that we are one aircraft down. Red 5, Flight Lieutenant Chris Lindensmith has recently become a father for the first time. So he is at home nursing his new baby boy and he is not taking part in the display. So you'll see an eight-ship display this afternoon, but just so we can film it and send it back to Flight Lieutenant Chris Lindensmith and his wife Victoria, let's have a big round of applause for baby Lyndon Smith. Thank you very much. We'll make sure that message gets to him. So, the pilots are now at the end of the runway. They're just about to get ready to take off. And once we get takeoff clearance, I will let you speak here from Red One as he talks to you from the cockpit. It is a pleasure to welcome each and every one of you to our home base here at Royal Air Force Scampton. We really do appreciate the support the Royal Air Force has in Lincolnshire and it is great for us to be able to give something back to you by hosting this air show here at our home base, a base that is steeped in history. I know Ben and George have been telling you all about the history of RAF Scampton. We're very privileged to be based here. We're very fortunate to have a huge long runway and lots of restricted airspace for which to train for our displays. So it's great for you to be here. Red One just telling me that there's a priority arrival at RAF Waddington. So just south of Lincoln, RAF Waddington has a priority arrival traffic. So the Red Arrows are being held on the ground before they can get airborne to start their display. They will be performing a display takeoff from your right-hand side. So at the front, you'll see Reds 1, 2, and 3, followed very shortly by Red 4. And then one and a half seconds after that, you'll see Red 6, 7, 8, and 9. So that'll be a display takeoff. Now we have three types of show we can fly depending on the weather. Our full display would let us fly looping maneuvers. That needs a minimum cloud base of five and a half thousand feet. If it's lower than that, we can fly our rolling display, but that needs two and a half thousand feet. And if it's lower than two and a half thousand, then Red One will lead our flat display. Well, I've just been told by air traffic control that one of the most recent displays gave us a pi rep or a pilot report of a cloud base of 2,000 feet. So at the moment, Red One will be starting, he thinks, with a flat display, but he'll have a good look at it when they get airborne. He may send one jet up just to fully assess the cloud base and may change that decision and elect to go rolling. We do actually have the ability to chop and change between our full rolling and flat displays. We've designed it on purpose to take into account the fabulous British summer weather. So he will decide what he wants to do once he gets airborne. He'll assess the cloud base more closely and then come up with a decision on what he's going to do. So the fact we are an eight aircraft display is something we do train for in our winter training period. We've practiced what we call loser plots for the eventuality that a pilot is sick or otherwise engaged as we have today or in fact if an aircraft is not serviceable or if a pilot has a bird strike on takeoff for example. So we do practice these loser plots and today we'll be putting into action the five out plan. So red five missing. So a lot of the shapes might be lopsided but at least you know why and I'll try and talk you through what the shape would look like and you can just use your imagination. So I think we have got takeoff clearance ladies and gentlemen. I'm hoping red one. Here we go. I'm going to put you on the radio to red one. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. This is Red One, Squadron Leader, David Montenegro. 
Thank you so much for travelling across the world to Royal Air Force Kempton, the home of the Red Arrows. And thank you for coming to observe and watch our final UK Public 2017 display. We are lined up here on runway 22 and we are ready for takeoff. Great. Smoke, lights on, go, power! Smoke, lights on, go power, he says. The lights are on. Now going to full power on each of their engines, coming up with 5,200 pounds of thrust. You'll hear the noise coming in shortly. And he's about to call Reds rolling now. Brakes are off, Reds 1, 2 and 3 start rolling, half a second later Red 4 releases his brakes and one and a half seconds later Red 6, 7, 8 and 9. They're already approaching 80 or 90 miles an hour at about 120 miles an hour. They raise their nose wheels, lifting off the runway at about 150 miles per hour. So here they come from the right hand side, I'll let you hear the jet noise, give them a big wave as they come past, taking off for a display takeoff. Amongst you might have noticed that in the back of Red 1, Red 7 and Red 9's aircraft, there are other people. So the other display pilots is sitting in their cockpit alone, but in Reds 1, 7 and 9 we have an extra person. They are our team pilots for next year. So Red 1 has the new Red 1 sitting behind him. Red 7 and Red 9 have the two new first years. And they're just getting an idea of what it looks like to display during this 2017 performance. If you heard what Red 1 said, this is in fact our last UK public display for the 2017 season. So it's very fitting that it's taking place here in the skies above Lincolnshire at our home base. So we're very honoured to have you here to watch this last performance. And I know the boys are very fired up. You can tell by the sounds of their voices on the radio, they are very much looking forward to this display. So they're just getting ready behind us to start the show, getting the jets in trim. They'll be priming the smoke systems and they'll be getting to start the show in just a few minutes time. Wandering around the site, you may see some guys and girls in blue flying suits with a red arrow's crest on their arm. These are our support staff, obviously called the Blues. And these are representing a, ground, a spectrum of the ground trades in the Royal Air Force. From engineers to photographers, administrators, suppliers and drivers. Each of them works very hard in their own domain to ensure our very busy summer season is a success. So if you see a Red Arrows ground crew member in a blue flying suit with a Union flag on their right chest and a Red Arrows crest on their right arm, then please do give them a huge pat on the back and pass on our thanks for their efforts. In fact, let's do it publicly. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big round of applause for the Red Arrow support staff, the Blues! The Red One's just getting now into Pyramid, so Red Six and Seven sitting behind Red One. They are talking to Air Traffic Control, who have just said, you're cleared to display. So it's getting ready now. So it's, I said it's the last UK public display. It's not the end of the season though. On Thursday, just after a couple of days of getting the jets ready, we are embarking on a five week tour of the Middle East where we'll be visiting nine countries, helping to promote British prosperity and supporting British business. So we have lots of displays in the Middle East and we're very much looking forward to supporting the UK cause. Also, we'll be working in some defence engagement streams, working with our counterparts in the Middle East to help support the defence mission. For everyone, still not elected which type of show he's going to go for, but I think it's going to be a flat display. In fact, this year, because of our reduced training time after last year's mammoth nine-week tour of the Asia-Pacific region, we had a shorter training time, so we've got a more simple display, and actually the flat rolling and full displays don't have too many manoeuvres very different. So the flat display, you won't lose a lot of the dynamic manoeuvres, and you will enjoy what you are about to see. Ow. Rolling. Ow. That is Red One rolling out now onto the final approach track, ready for the start of the display. He's going to call the pilots into wall formation as a nine ship. This measures a thousand feet wide, so it's going to be slightly narrower as a, an eight ship formation without Red Five. 
but they will be laying, that, laying down some of that very patriotic red, white and blue smoke. So they're now in wall formation, bringing the jets up to 400 miles per hour. The coloured smoke is about to come on. So now in the UK for the final time this year, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team 4 2017, the Red Arrows! In a left-hand turn, Red 1 has now called the pilots into Phoenix formation. Red 4 and now 9 and 8 have moved forward to beam Reds 2 and 3. Red 6 and 7 have moved behind 2 and 3. The jets now are around 6 feet apart from wingtip to wingtip. And in this left-hand turn, they're tightening back to come in from your left-hand side. At the front of that formation is Red 1, squadron leader David Montenegro. And it is Monty's final display leading the team in the UK for the British public. He is a former Hawk flying instructor and Tornado F3 air defence pilot. I'll talk more about Monty after they've rolled out in Phoenix. Keep your eyes on the pilots on the outside of the formation. <laughs> Red 8 there with his red smoke on, rolling to the very back of the formation. A little bit more about Monty. He's in his third and final year leading the team. He first started flying the Hawk as an instructor, then became a Tornado F3 air defence pilot. He joined the team in 2009. He left in 2011, having led the Synchro pair. That's him now taking the formation over to the left as the shape has changed into the shape of an aircraft. Again, using your imagination. Red 5 would be on the left wing with Red 9 at the back, but Red 9 is filling red five slot they're in the shape of spitfire and on the leader's right wing in spitfire is red two he's the first of our new pilots flight lieutenant toby keely toby is a former tornado gr4 pilot who then became a hawk flying instructor not on this version of hawk the royal air force's newest advanced jet trainer the hawk t mark ii so in from the front right now with three smokes on using your imagination the boys are about to present spitfire Now we have Spitfire in the display this year to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the Royal Air Force's Battle of Britain Memorial Flight. The BBMF, as it's known, exists to commemorate all those who have lost their lives in service with the Royal Flying Corps or Royal Air Force since 1914. And the flight's motto is, lest we forget. Arguably the most important motto of any military unit and it's definitely one we all need to remember, that sacrifice. So, Spitfire is off in our front left and on the leader's left wing is Red 3. He's the next of our new pilots, Flight Lieutenant Dan Lowe's. Losey's background is solely as a Typhoon pilot. You'll see the Typhoon later on. He spent a number of tours flying the Typhoon and then became a qualified weapons instructor. The smokes are on to our left. Get ready for a brilliant maneuver. I love this one. It's called Tornado. Reds 8 and 9 with the blue and red smoke on now rolling around the other six aircraft. Red 1 is about to make it much harder for these guys as he enters a 3G left-hand turn. Coming left. Now. So without Red 5 there, we've got a bit of, uh, bit of love for our Scottish fans watching this afternoon. Bit of blue and white smoke up the front as Reds 8 and 9 finish rolling around the others. Their smoke goes off and you'll now see Reds 2, 3 and 4 move to the very back of the formation. Reds 8 and 9 will tuck in. And they're about to form the shape of a fabulous feat of British aviation engineering excellence. It is the shape of Concorde. Once again, using your imagination for where Red 5 might be. Red 1's about to tighten to around 3.5G in this shape. Very hard shape for Reds 2 and 3 at the back of the formation. Solely looking at Red 1's jet for the references as they present Concorde. This is the point I would normally talk about Red 5, the new father who is a returning former Red Arrows pilot. He first joined the team in 2011. He left in 2013, having led the Synchro pair. He started his career as a Tornado GR4 pilot 
and then became a Hawk instructor. More recently, after leaving the team, he's been flying this version of Hawk with number 100 squadron, which is a unit that provides target training for our frontline squadrons. So over to the right-hand side now, the wings of the formation are moving back onto red one. So three on the bottom, two on the top as we look at it. They're forming a, a lopsided trademark shape of the red arrows. It is diamond. I'll throw it out. So now we've got eight headlights pointing at us. Eight smokes are about to come on. Coming right now. This is Diamond. Oh, A part of our flat display that does, doesn't take part in any other shape is the present of another shape which is called Dagger. Now we're about to see Red 4 move forward, Red 9 move to the very back as Red 4 is a beam, Red 2, Red 6, 7, 8 and 9 are directly behind Red 1 in line astern. So Red 1's about to call tightening as he's going to squeeze to around 4G making it very difficult for the guys following in line astern. We've got some smoke coming on now as we get tightening and they're squeezing to around 4G as they present Dagger. That now signifies the end of the first part of this Red Arrows flat display where so far you've seen all eight jets together in different shapes and performing different bends and aerobatics. Well now we're about to split into smaller sections of between two and six jets for some much more dynamic manoeuvring. So there's Dagger moving off to our front left. At the front of Dagger today are Reds 1 to 4, normally Reds 1 to 5, known as Enid, after Enid Blyton's famous five. And at the back there, you can see Reds 6, 7, 8 and 9. They're collectively known as Jippo. Now, that was the nickname of the gentleman who first led the back four aircraft back in 1968 when the Red Arrows started flying nine ship displays officially. So, directly rolling out towards us, the smoke is about to come on. We have Enid at the top and Jippo at the bottom. Get your cameras ready as we're about to start the second part of our display with the detonator. Enid, break, break, go, says Red One. They fan out at the top now. Keep your eyes on Jippo. With his smoke changing from blue to white on the right-hand side is Red Six. He is the leader of the synchro pair. He's Flight Lieutenant Tom Bold. Tom is in his third and final year in a red flying suit. He's a former Takano instructor and display pilot. Operationally, Tom flew the Typhoon before coming to join the Red Arrows. Also his last UK public display today. And on the right, he is followed by Red 8. As we look left, smoking is Red 7, chased down by Red 9. Four jets now coming down to 100 feet. Their closing speed is a staggering 820 miles per hour. Ready for the Jippo Pass. Red 6 on the radio saying turn, they leave their smoke on, they go to full power and they turn away from us now pulling 6G or six times the force of gravity. That means everything in these pilots' bodies is six times heavier, including their blood, which wants to go from their brains to their feet, make them pass out. So they really are working hard, fighting the G-force as they point back towards each other to fly the Cyclone. Again, the synchro pair will cross directly out to the front in what we call the slingshots. But now you need to look to the right-hand side to find Enid. Get down, says Red One. The wings of Enid drop down to form a lopsided inverted V-shape. Now look to your left. Here comes a lone jet. This is Red Nine. He's going to fly through the middle of this V now. 
as Enid and Red Nine present The Goose. Climbing steeply off to the right-hand side with a little twinkle roll there was Red Nine, Fly Lieutenant Emmett Cox. Coxie is in his third and final year in the team. Also his final UK public display today. He is from New Zealand, but he moved to the UK to join the Royal Air Force and became a tornado pilot and Takano instructor. I know Emmett's got some family all the way from the United States to watch his final display, so a big hello to you guys. Now look straight ahead for Red 6, 7 and 8. In a smoke off day to play smoke on go. Good fun. Seven and eight. Roll go. Red seven and eight with the coloured smoke now rolling around red six before they split in the vortex. Up through the middle of the vortex was Red 8. He's flight lieutenant Mike Bowden. Mike's also a third year pilot in the team, but he is not leaving at the end of this season, so he, he will be on the circuit next year. He's a former Hawk flying instructor, Harrier GR9 pilot, and Tornado GR4 pilot. Now eyes back to the synchro pair, left and right. They're currently flying at around 1,200 feet, full power now. Max performing back towards the airfield. Each pilot now dropping their aircraft down to 100 feet, using the throttle to bring the speed up to 400 miles an hour apiece. They're going to point back towards each other as they get ready to fly the opposition barrel rolls. Coming in from the front left in line astern, stacked top to bottom, one to five. Red one enters a left-hand turn. The following pilots have to use their feet now to input a lot of rudder in line astern. Normally we fly our formations with odd-numbered pilots on the left, even-numbered pilots fly on the right, but now we've got reds two and four on the left and red three on the right. But they're about to switch back the normal sides now. They're going to perform the slalom. Now back on the normal sides, they'll put a bit of red smoke on as red one tightens to around four to four and a half G with this wind today. With the red smoke going on, the pilots reach up and right with their right thumbs to operate the red smoke button on each of the aircraft's control column. This is Battle, lining up the leaders, winked it with his nose. The jets are around 20 feet apart as they're pulling four to four and a half G around the corner in Battle. So Enid are rolling out to our front right. Now we need to look a little further right to pick up the four jets of Jippo. Enid, smoke off go, Jippo, smoke off go. This is the Hurricane. Reds 8 and 9 with the coloured smoke there rolling around Red 6 and 7 who look, roll upright and inverted at different stages during that Hurricane manoeuvre. Now we need to look to the right, as here come Enid in loose diamond formation. With their white smoke on, they're rolling out down the line. Coming in from your right-hand side, Enid are going to fly the Revolution. Pilots there perform what we call an aileron roll, 
a full left-hand control column input to roll the aircraft very rapidly around its longitudinal axis. Now, look straight ahead. You'll find the four headlights of Jippo. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Eight and nine. Oh, yeah. The coloured smoke for eight and nine rolling around six and seven. They then roll. Here we go. This is the Jippo break. Go! With his smoke changing from blue to white on the left-hand side is Red 7, Synchro number 2, Flight Lieutenant Cy Taylor. Cy's a second-year pilot with the team. He's a former Tornado GR4 pilot before then transferring to the Typhoon Force where he spent a number of tours and eventually became a Typhoon instructor teaching new Typhoon pilots how to fly that fantastic aircraft you'll see in just an hour's time. So we've got Red 7 on the left, Red 6 on the right. Back down to 100 feet they're flying. They're going to perform the double rolls. Pull goes as red six, they go to full power, coloured smoke, 6G, upside down at 300 feet, as they come back down to 100 feet. Double rolls finishing left and right now, look to the left to find Enid. Now the pilots pitch up to form tight rolls in the rollbacks. Some very colourful, if a little lopsided rollbacks for me in it as they complete and enter a left-hand turn. Now we need to look left and right again for the synchro pair and their final manoeuvre. This time, red six comes from the left and red seven from the right. Here they come with their white smoke on. They're closing at 800 miles per hour. They're going to cross three times in opposing 360 degree turns, each pulling 6G. Here we go, the synchro pair with the carousel. Full power, giving lots of deep colour in that red and blue smoke. Remember putting 6G, the pilots are working hard. They're going to cross at the back. They will swap their smoke colour now from red to blue and vice versa using the individual colour control buttons. And around the front they will switch to white smoke. And now everybody here at Scampton, it's your turn. Please put your hands together for the Synchro Pair! Now, directly ahead, Enid have been joined by Reds 8 and 9 for the display's finale. Here they come. White smoke's coming on. One rolling, says Red 1. He's got his red smoke on to draw the symbol for infinity around the rest of the formation. This is the infinity break. <laughs> You've been watching the Royal Air Force aerobatic team, the Red Arrows! Red One is just putting his smoke on so the other seven aircraft can get visual with him as quickly as possible. They're going to gather up as an eight ship and come in to land very shortly from your right hand side through a big battle break. That'll happen in just a couple of minutes' time. If you'd like to find out more about the team, you can visit our website, which is raf.mod.uk slash reds. On Facebook, we're Royal Air Force Red Arrows, and Twitter, at RAF Red Arrows. If you are fans of supercars and the Red Arrows, then you can have the chance to win a very limited edition Aston Martin Vanquish S car, a car that is worth £275,000. If you'd like a chance to win that, it's a very limited edition, only 10 have been made. Reds 1 to 9 have been sold privately, but Red 10 is up for raffle on behalf of the Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund. If you want a chance to win it, Google Red Arrows Aston Martin to visit the RAF Benevolent Fund website. You can pay £20 to enter the competition, 
and that will then give you a very good chance to win the car and also support a very worthy charity. So now in from the right now you see the synchro pair are joining with the other aircraft. They'll be coming in from the right to perform a battle break and I'll talk you through that as they peel off to our right. They're going to come in at around 400 miles an hour flying at 300 feet. Red 1 will call Red's braking now. The smoke will go off. They'll go to idle and pitch up to then pull 6G around the corner slowing down to the right speed to come and land on the runway. So here we go, 6 and 7 moving into their relevant positions in battle with Red 5 not present and the white smoke is about to come on. Listen in to Red 1 as they perform a big battle break. around the corner with the engines are idle producing no thrust the air brakes out creating drag and we're slowing down now to below 200 miles an hour as they're downwind that load then gives them the right speed to lower their undercarriage you can see the wheels coming down on each of the aircraft they'll surely be turning final so a right hand turn to land on runway 22 one gear says red one so he's now turning finals so and just as we fly our formations with the odd numbered pilots on the left and the even numbered pilots on the right we do the same when we land the even numbered pilots will land on the right hand side of the runway and the odd numbered pilots will land on the left so as we see red one come into land you may see he puts a little puff of smoke out the idea then is that that smoke will give the following pilots an idea of what the drift is doing therefore what their wake turbulence and jet wash will be doing and how that might affect their landing so they then come in at a slightly steeper or shallower stack depending on what the wind is doing so as red one comes into land let's see if we can see a puff of white smoke come out he's touching down at about 140 miles an hour you might just see that smoke as we're looking over the crest of the hill there it is that's that going to move as we look at it from right to left but as the pilots look at it from left to right which means that the pilots downwind you can see are flying a steeper stack to really punch through that jet wash and weight turbulence so they'll be landing sequentially reds one through to nine without red five so coming in from the right it is his last uk public display ladies and gentlemen let's please all wave to red one squadron leader david montenegro I know David's got some family here, so a big hello to you guys. Red 2 following up is Flight Lieutenant Toby Keeley. His family in the crowd also, so a big hello to you guys. Closest to us now on the left-hand side of the runway is Red 3. He's Flight Lieutenant Dan Lowe's. Big hello to Dan's family. Coming in now, Red 4, Flight Lieutenant Matt Masters. I know Matt's family here as well. Everyone very lucky to have their families watching today at our home base and also part of our final display before we venture off on our tour. Here comes Red Six, leader of the Synchro Pair, also taking part in his final UK public display. It is Flight Lieutenant Tom Bold. And his synchro pair wingman is Red 7, Flight Lieutenant Cy Taylor. Both the synchro pair have families that I'd like to say hello to. Red 8, Flight Lieutenant Mike Bowden. And his family come all the way from South Wales today. And last but by no means least, also taking part in his final display in the UK, is Red 9, Flight Lieutenant Emmett Cox. Please, everybody, give the pilots a huge wave. They're coming to a stop on the runway. They'll be taxiing into park down just past the grandstand. And in fact, they will be walking along the fence line just in front of the grandstand with some limited edition Red Arrows prints. Your last chance to buy these prints this year. They have been hand-signed by all of the Red Arrows pilots. 
They cost 10 pounds, so please do stop one of the pilots in their red suits and hand them 10 pounds. They'll give you one of those limited edition prints. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got our display in. For those who were here yesterday, you saw we had a bit, bit of a tough time. We managed to get our display in today. It's been a very special day for all of the pilots, especially those who are about to leave the team, including myself. Nine seasons I've spent with the Red Arrows. It has been a fantastic time. I've enjoyed every second of it. I've visited 46 countries in a Red Arrows aircraft. I've flown over 2,000 times in one of these jets. And oh. that is why Hello. I am standing here. <laughs> this is your life, squadron leader Mike Lee. Oh, no. On behalf of the Royal Air Force Charitable Trust Enterprises, everybody in Royal Air Force Scams, and the millions of people you have personally entertained, a huge thank you from everybody in the air display industry. You have done wonders. Nine years unbelievable, six as commentator, two years is flying preparation the first thing I want you to do is formally hand over the microphone to your successor can I, come forward can I do that in just one you minute you can I've got my little girl here today I've got to say a big hello to you it's her second birthday so I'd like the crowd if you can please put your hands together for my daughter Isla she's two today everyone happy birthday Isla and also a big big thank you to my other half Nicola for putting up with Lots of time away with the Red Arrows. It's been Step fantastic. Step forward, squadron leader Adam Collins. Over to you, Billy. Because you have uh, a, a fantastic time. It's three or four years of doing what I've just been doing. You're going to meet some fantastic people. More importantly, the flying is great, but these guys all watching are going to be what makes the role you're about to fulfill the most incredible time of your life. Good luck, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause, please. Squadron leader Mike Ling. Well done, and thank you once again. Now, over to Ben to uh, take us through the proceedings and a few more words, Ben. Thank you very much, George. And uh, Lingy, from me, all I can say is thank you so much. It's been wonderful having you around the display circuit for the past few years. The best of luck from all of us for what comes next for you. You'll be much, much missed, I can assure you. Look forward, though, to seeing you around somehow. So that was squadron leader Mike Ling for the last time at a British air display as Red 10 and the final British display for the Red Arrows of the 2017 season. Well now we are back straight